What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. Again, in a car. But uh, I actually picked something up today that's hot off the presses. A couple food reviewers have already done it and uh, decided to give it a shot. And I'm losing sunlight. So by the time I got home, got things situated, nah, I don't do uh, reviews in the dark. Huh? So yeah, so anyway, before I get into the product, I want to tell you actually where I'm parked. I'm parked at some little side road uh, where you pull in and there's two massive bald eagle statues on either side of the gate. And I believe it's called like SouthwestFloridaBaldEagle.com. You can Google it. Um, and you come in here and there's always people here and they have bald eagles, American bald eagles that have... Uh, you know, made their home here. So people come in and there's people behind me now. I don't know if you could see them with their uh, cameras, with the big lenses, and they take pictures all day. And I think the website actually is a 24 hour cam of the Eagles. So there you go. So a little side note of where I am right now. So, all right, so let's jump into it. We all know, if you don't, you do now, Red Velvet Oreo. So an interesting story. Well, I opened this up by lifting. So I went to my local Walmart today, and Mark from Nabisco was actually stocking the Oreos. So I was actually talking to Harmony L, plug, shout out, on the phone, and I put the phone down, and I said, right behind his back, I said, oh, he's stocking the Oreos right now, but I don't see them. I didn't say what they were. I said, I don't see them. And he turns around, and he goes, you looking for the red velvet? I'm like, whoa, he's like my pusher. I'm like, yes. And he goes, I got him in the back. How many you want? I'm like, whoa, whoa, buddy. I just came in here for some, some, you know, good old family, wholesome fun. And red velvet Oreo. So I said, uh, give me one. So he said, you do realize that these are, I forgot the term he used, but basically one shot. Uh, he can't even order anymore. And he works for Nabisco. So once they're gone, they're gone. So he's like, you sure you want one? And I went, no, I'll get two, because what I'm going to do, I'm going to hold on to these. And maybe someone like Greg from Mr. Happy 0121 will uh, pay 20 bucks on Amazon for these in a couple months when they're nowhere to be found. So I bought two of them, $2.98. So let's open it up and see. I never had these when I was young. All right. So I get a nice hint of chocolate right off the bat. Look at those. Yeah. So, so if you're familiar with red velvet cake, and I'm not, not a big fan, but actually my friend and subscriber, Harmony L, schooled me on these and said cream cheese frosting on a red velvet cake, chocolate cake with some food coloring and vinegar does something. So I don't know if there's vinegar in this cookie, but you know, there you go. So got the red tint and a little different smell than an Oreo, still chocolatey, so all right, let's just go in first bite right here. Wish me luck. Red Velvet Oreo. I'm not a huge fan of Red Velvet. Oh, really quick, right back to Mark. Awesome, awesome representative for Nabisco. Actually brought me back the two packages. We kind of talked a little bit, and I took off. And I'm like, man, I should have put him on camera. He had a good attitude, so I think he probably would have done it. But let's give it a shot. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hold, please. Oh, no. Has it happened? Oh, no. Okay. I don't like red velvet cake. I eat around the cream cheese frosting and I just eat the cake. And uh, Harmony and I have had discussions on this. 
I'm like, so I wasn't looking forward to this. I like that. It's chocolatey, and I'm glad it's got that cream cheese filling, frosting. So it's different than a regular, you know, Oreo. So they mixed it up. So I give them props for that. Um, is it full fledged red velvet cake? No, it's very much similar to a chocolate regular Oreo. So I think that's why I'm digging it. So let's just uh, twist off here and uh, let's pop it without the top. Mm. Hmm. Wow. I'm going to tell you, something's different. It's not straight up red velvet. I think they missed the mark on that. But it's good. And I'm very surprised. It's like a chocolate Oreo. But that inside filling is like, to me, a cross between cream cheese and their regular frosting and some type of buttercream. Which I love, buttercream. So, I'm digging it. Wow, am I surprised. Holy cow. All right. I mean, I'm not telling you to run out there. You got to go. Got to go get it. Whoa, off the shelves. Oh, my God. A blizzard's coming. No. But I'm also telling you, I endorse these. So let's rate Let's rate these, shall we? So on a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 being do not even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of, oh, I'm going to give the new Red Velvet Oreo cookie a rating of... 86. 86 out of 100. Just slightly under 9. Mainly because I'm not a huge Oreo fan or Red Velvet, and I think they missed the mark on the Red Velvet. But I think if they hit the mark, it might have been a lower score. That's just me. That's what makes food fun. So there you go. Another review in the books. Please like. Please comment. Please subscribe. Please go check out Eagles Online. And I'm not talking Mark Sanchez. No. But uh, I'm telling you to go check out these bald eagles because bald eagles, just, that's America. That's America. So there you go. Thanks again. We'll see you soon with another review. Wow. I'm taking bids on my other bag. $10 right now. $10. Do I hit 10? Do I hit 10? All right.